Now that you've made your selections and your cross points in matrix view, now you can get a nice diagram in flow view to see how everything flows. What's nice about flow view is you can maneuver and, and move things around. So I could actually go grab my beamforming mic up here, or in some cases you can even lasso things like these two microphones here, the handheld and the lavalier, and move those over as well. So I can maybe bring my lava a little closer and bring my USB over to here. And USB left and right channel, there we go for that. And also my VoIP here. But if we're really doing our, our sending our USB to the speakers, I could maybe just bring my two USBs up here is where my microphones are gonna be going. So it kind of gives me a nice uh, little cleaner look with that. I can then bring my VoIP there and bring my uh, speaker down to here. So then we'll maneuver things around just a little bit to see how they look. I'll put these two USBs kind of together since it's just a left and right channel. Uh, let me lasso these as well. We will go into an, another module talking more about gating groups. and We have not assigned one yet, so that's what this would be for. But uh, right now, I'm just mainly showing you how this part of uh, this works. All right, so also notice if I hover over a certain microphone, so if I go to my handheld and hover over it, you'll notice that it shows where it actually goes. It goes to the USB left and right, and also goes to the VoIP. Same thing with the beam forming mic, it does the same thing. If I uh, hover over the VoIP, where does that go? That goes not only to USB, but it also goes to the ceiling speakers, so I can hear those. So you do get a nice little uh, flow diagram of how everything is set up. You also have a little window here on the side that you can look at this in a mini map, so you can move things around. Uh, you can uh, zoom in and out of certain sections if you wanted to. Uh, you can uh, fit the page, so it gets you everything on that page. You can show the grids within there, uh, and also pin things. So if you pin all, that way you can actually keep them from moving, uh, moving around. You also have filters if you just want to look at certain things, certain microphones, and that's all you want to look at. You can filter things out. You can order by name or alphabetically as we showed you earlier. You can also hover your dimming and make that even high, uh, uh, more dimming or less dimming. So if I go all the way down to zero, I could now go to my handheld and you'll notice that it just completely uh, takes out everything. So you can use your dimming uh, at different levels if you want to. One of the other nice features about this is to be able to have either straight lines, which I have right now, everything is straight, or I can say route around objects. So if I do this, you'll get a nice little setup like this where it just shows you where everything is routing to and going around the lines. So it's a nice feature. Another thing I wanted to uh, make you aware of as well is that if I use the little pencil here and I right click on this uh, handheld, let's do the handheld here, and I right click that, you will see route and I can actually unroute him. So if I want to take him out of that route, I can say yes I want to do that. Notice that the handheld is not going to anything now. It also is reflected in matrix view. So if you go to matrix view, you'll notice that the handheld, there's nothing going anywhere now. Uh, I could go ahead and just select this again if I wanted to, or what I can do is go to flow view and just literally draw this to those particular sections. So I could go to the USB, uh, left channel, and also the right channel, and then I could also drag it down to VoIP. So, this is kind of a really nice way to not only just show where everything is flowing, uh, but where you can actually move things around, get a nice little picture. Uh, you could even do screenshots of this if you wanted to, to uh, be able to show someone what you're actually going to be doing. So this is a little bit about how FlowView works and it actually mirrors everything you do in Matrix View.